Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. I'm Hubba Lubba Lou, and today we have Signature Edition's Slain Back From Hell Collector's Edition to unbox today. And uh, I'm pretty sure I'm a big dum-dum because I unbox this without sound, so this will be my second take for you guys. So before we get into this unboxing, I hope you guys uh, subscribe to my channel for more unboxings like this one. I promise uh, I won't open it and forget the sound on the first video. Um, but I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. Now, I was actually recommended this game from King Koopa, one of my YouTube buddies. Uh, we go back and forth with uh, collector's editions, and he said, I'd love this art style. And I was really excited, so I watched the trailer, and I was really pumped to get this collector's edition. So here you guys go. You got the unboxing right here. It comes with a game CD soundtrack, a pin that uh, the guitarists use, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's the pin. Um, and that's about it. Oh, white box there. Yeah, the pin's stuck right in there. Okay. Got it, uh, right there. All right, so I guess the first thing we're gonna show you is this Slain Back From Hell guitar pick. <laughs> Pretty sure guitar picks aren't supposed to be metal, guys, uh, because you don't use metal on metal chords, I guess. I don't know, I haven't played guitar ever, so if you guys play guitar, if you guys know it, uh, please comment down below if you guys are allowed to use metal picks. I don't know, of course it's just a collector's edition or something like that, um, but uh, that was really funny to know. Um, and then we're gonna get into the CD soundtrack, uh, which is actually one of the biggest parts about this collector's edition because the songs in this game are just hard metal music that everybody loves apparently on the reviews. And there are about 20 songs in here, so we're gonna open this up for you guys right now. Ooh, darkness, I like it. Okay, so you got like the background of the actual game on the background of the CD cover, and that's really cool. And then you got the front cover on the actual CD itself, a little bit bland. I wish they would have like mixed it up a little bit more. Uh, the underside of the CD cover too is just more of the background of the game, which I really like too, but seems a little bit simplistic for such like a very like good looking art style game. I thought they would add a little bit more diversity in their uh, art for their cover, but uh, let's get into this game right now. Again, I opened this before, so I was kind of disappointed that I didn't record my sound, but here you guys go. The cover on this game is just very plain. The back cover fills up everything. Um, the front cover on this is actually the same as uh, most of the stuff in the CD and everything, but the cover on the inside, guys, wow, this looks great. Like, I wish this cover on the inside was what we had on like the CD soundtrack inside cover or something like that. And then the actual cover uh, for the Switch cart cartridge has this giant Peggy 16 from the uh, the ESRB rating kind of thing. And it just takes up like a quarter of the Switch cartridge itself. I really was disappointed on that. But uh, then again, the uh, backside cover, really cool. I wish they would have added like the inside cover art to the backside and I would have liked this on the inside, switch it up a little bit. Um, but I'm not really complaining because there's more art to, to have in this game. So let's get into this art book, which again, I wish it was a hard style manual, but look at this front cover right there, dude. If that's not saying what's gonna be in this manual, then I have no idea what else is gonna come in. The Art of Slain Back From Hell. Now this game apparently is supposed to be like a Dark Souls hardness game, like really hard game. Um, so you have, ooh, all these monsters on the front. It looks like these are the bosses of the game. The game was actually, earlier it came out in like 2010 to 14, somewhere around those years. And then it was actually kickstarted with Slain Back From Hell, which adds like three new levels, a couple bosses, and more art styles for his like abilities and everything like that. But this art manual, man, is just sick. This like voodoo looking guy with his skulls, very dark, like the skull, like bar keep and everything like that. Looks really cool. The wolf, oh, this guy's just getting his head sliced. Oh, it's a wolf getting his head sliced. That's really cool. Then you got like some boss chick with like, get over here. <laughs> Scorpion, um, but that's really cool. Yeah, this this art seems like it is my style. Thanks King again for telling me about this I really wish this art manual was actually a hardcover art manual because I would have really enjoyed it a little bit more Kept these pages really intact more um, But there's more sick art Awesome bit art you got like his actual holding the different swords that he has I don't know if you pick all these up uh, I guess you can use uh, different clothing for your character because you have like 16 different styles. It looks like he's got like a mohawk, a skull looking face. He's got like long dreads, a big white like looking uh, hair. And then you got this ghost like about to stab this goblet of skulls, I guess. Oh, and then you have original artwork. I love that original artwork before it comes out in the game. Uh, Back from hell, like even this front like picture 
that would have been cool on the uh, CD soundtrack. Ooh, a little bit different on that side. That was really cool. Yeah, this art is definitely my style. Very unique, very different than most of the art styles, um, but still uses that nice, cool, saturated bit art. Oh gosh, this this original artwork, I love it because it reminds me when I was in school about to like draw everything in my uh, my notebook and it'd just be like, wow, uh, people did that that actually like helped them with their career. And, like I could have done that. And just the reminiscence of doodling in your notebook is just really fun. Oh, you have like the background and the foreground enhancements. Oh, this is really cool. I really like this art book. I wish most games actually did this so they actually see like how much effort they put into this game and everything. Oh gosh, and then you have the different styles of running with a sword, really unique. Uh, and then like the plat, the actual game level is actually drawn. That's really cool. And you have another game drawn level. I wish there was something on the back because the front cover is just asking for it pretty much. That is an awesome front cover art book. All right guys, well that was my unboxing for Signatures Edition Slain Back From Hell. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did for 35 euros, I think. So like 45 US dollars. I think it was worth it. The art itself really got me. I wish this came in a hardcover art style book so I don't mess up the pages. I think I'm gonna keep that separately from everything so I don't mess it up. The CD could have used a little bit more art, but the songs on the soundtrack are supposed to be what adds so much to this game, just hard metal rock music, along with some sick, gory bit style art. Uh, the game cover on the inside was really cool, I thought. It was a little bit plain on the outside, but then uh, you got this metal art, the guitar pick. You guys play guitar, can you comment down below if you can actually use a metal guitar pick on your guitar? I don't think it'd be good with your metal guitar chords, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Please subscribe to my channel for more unboxings like this one and more game reviews I'll have in the future. Um, I hope you guys like and comment down below about this unboxing. I always like uh, talking to you guys about anything. Did you guys like it? Didn't you like it? Would you guys buy it if you guys have the choice to? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll see you next time.